this is another example of how Collier County really does a lot of great and wonderful things for our veterans. Um, we can always do more, um, and we are. Um, I was just telling someone else, I'm, I'm very proud of these these um, events that bring veterans together for shared camaraderie and, and things like that. But also, too, citizens need to know that we have a veteran services office um, in Collier County where veterans who are having trouble with medical benefits, maybe can't get paperwork from the government that they need, um, possibility that they have an issue with their disability pay or their retirement pay or all kinds of things, VA loans. We have an office where a veteran can literally walk in and get one-on-one -on -one care and have somebody run to ground the issue that they're having and we've had so many success stories but we need veterans to know that 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 office and those professionals exist you know out here today this is an example of parks and rec and and all that they do to support veterans um, this is a great uh, example of bringing us all together and we have we have shared camaraderie I've only, only been out here a few minutes but I've met my brothers and sisters from all the different services here we're talking about the assignments we've had and everything and one of the things I really love about Collier County and I've lived all over the world I'm a retired Air Force Colonel I served for 24 years I'm an Air Force Academy graduate but one of the things I can tell you about Collier County we have no military bases here yet this is one of the most patriotic um, places that I've ever lived um, you know, I've lived in places where the center of that town, when it came to revenue and employment, was the base. So, of course, the town loves, you know, the military. But here, we have so many retirees, World War II veterans, former POWs, and people that are just very patriotic and really love their country and love not only veterans, but uniformed personnel, our first responders and police and fire. And you can really feel it in this town. So, you know, it's events like this that bring veterans together and to not only say thank you for your service, Service, but give us a chance to sort of get to know each other. I can tell you at the end of the day today, we will all know each other on a first name basis because that's how quickly we bond and come together. And an event like this helps us do that. And I think it's great. I feel lucky to be out here. We're uh, trying to, to give veterans the opportunity to explore the, the benefits of being on the water. For anybody who's sailed before, you know that when you get out there, there's an automatic sense of relaxation. It's therapy, much like uh, you've probably seen programs with dogs and horses. This is very similar, but with sailing as the basis. So the thrust is to get folks who have sailed before back on the water and those who haven't sailed to learn how to sail. And we have a mix of instructors and, and various veterans from the different armed forces that benefit from the program.